I was really excited about the news that Falcon Web Browser is now available as a Snap-based application. Great, so we'd have a browser with sandboxing in Linux. Perfect. No other browser offers that feature right now. I know Chrome offers sandboxing as a per-tab basis, but not as the overall application. So to have this feature in Falcon, which was formerly known as Coopzilla, sounded good until I tried it, and it all seems to come crashing down here. Now, I'm a bit surprised because I'm seeing this picture here of Falcon supposedly in action. Now, I'm sorry about the absolute rubbish look of my screen at the moment. I've just upgraded to Kuban to 17.10 beta. I'm just kind of getting things sorted, and I wanted to get this video up and running. So I also tried I also tried Falcon in Ubuntu Mate and had a similar issue, really. Let me show you. So I'm going to run it in console just to kind of get you, give you an idea of the errors or lack of errors, really. So Falcon. Let's just file that across to the right-hand side. So I've got a fair few warnings here. Fail to create symbolic links. Um, but... Yeah, nothing to what you're about to see. So this is the homepage of Kubzilla. So if I try and go anywhere, I get this JavaScript error. Uncaught reference JST process is not defined and the pages always look like this. It doesn't matter where I go, same again. So basically it's unusable, pity. And trying to search Anything in DuckDuckGo? No, same result. Let's try and look at the rest of Kubzilla and see what we can learn about it, really. So it is based on the Blink engine. So this is a fork of Chromium with quite a few features removed from it. Looking in the preferences, let's just go through some of them. Appearance, you can change between a few different appearances. Not vastly different. It's kind of changing the style of the address bar and bookmarks. Different settings you can change on a tab behavior. I've tried disabling the allow JavaScript on the browsing and you get even less on the page. In fact, it just goes completely blank. Local storage. Now, this is a difference with snaps that it's sandboxed to its own location within the snap folder. So I can't actually access my home folder Makes it a bit difficult when you want to download a document. And I think we come onto that. Yes, we'll come onto that section in a moment. The font, the font settings are not default for the KDE desktop, which I have here. So it's just kind of default to the Deja Vu Sans and Sans Mono. Download. So user defined location. <laughs> I could not enter folder. So this roots dot. Okay, it's fair enough. But home folder. Nope. Can't get there. That's going to be some settings that will need changing on the Falcon, really. It's how they deal with where you download to if you can't get to the home folder, or effectively the home slash downloads folder, which would be the default for the other browsers. External download manager. <laughs> That'd be interesting with sandboxing. And different settings we can change on privacy. Cookie manager. Ah, it's just opened onto the other's desktop. Let me drag that across. Filtering, well, some blacklist and whitelist. Good. And HTML5 permissions. Ah, so we can control geolocation, microphone, and camera settings. Nice, <laughs> very nice. And sending do not track headers. Not that many websites respect this setting, but might as well try. Extensions, now this is gonna be an interesting one. I'm not exactly sure how Kubzilla dealt with them. I didn't really use it much in the past, so. In theory, being based on the Blink engine, it probably could take some Chrome extensions. Don't know though entirely. Someone may correct me on that. Uh, spell check. So it's got access to the dictionary. Oh, a user agent manager. Interesting. So we could fake it to be something completely different. What could we fake it to? Uh, can't read. That's probably going to be uh, what's Apple's browser. Ah, Safari. How could I forget? Oh, that's interesting. Linux and Safari. Firefox is another option. But no Internet Explorer. Yeah, who'd want to pretend to be Internet Explorer? 
Although Internet Explorer on Linux, that would be uh, interesting to confuse some websites. You can change the search engine. Now, one last option that is available is an ad blocker. Why haven't I seen that? <laughs> I'm sure I've seen it in the past when I looked at this. Well, I can't remember now where I saw the ad blocking, but I think by default it used the easy list and gave you the options of adding other lists as well. So the easy list is the ad block plus list. So I'm sorry we can't look at anything else really. I'm, I know that was pretty much a waste of time looking at this video, but honestly, I'm really interested in the concept of this browser and I would like to see it develop further and working. Um, unless it's something on my system here, unless it's something that is disagreeing with Kubuntu, maybe that is the problem with Kubuntu or Ubuntu 17.10, that may be the issue. I would have tried this on KD Neon, however, Snap didn't work with the version of kernel that I had, so if you're seeing errors, it could be to do with if you've replaced the kernel. That's something I didn't realise about Snap, that it only works with the stock kernel. I could not use the stock kernel as it wasn't really compatible with my CPU. Anyway, thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.